Are you short on time in the gym, but still want to train? We've got solutions for you. The first strategy is to monitor and keep short rest periods. Have a small timer in the gym so you can quickly hit one or two buttons to start your rest period timer. This avoids the potential distraction of using your phone as a timer. And it also avoids inconsistent periods that vary between too long or too short. Try to keep rest periods to two to three minutes. If you're completing three full body workouts a week, you can divide this up into a four day split where you squat and deadlift twice a week and press and bench press twice a week. This results in one more workout per week, but each workout being significantly shorter. And if you're a more advanced lifter who needs accessory work, completing that accessory work as supersets or circuits can maintain this helpful hypertrophy work. Supersetting is where you go from one exercise to another that do not or minimally interfere with each other. For example, a tricep and then a bicep exercise. You may then have a short rest like 45 seconds to a minute. A circuit on the other hand can use two or more exercises with no or minimal rest between sets. For example, you might perform tricep pushdowns and then barbell curls and then dumbbell lateral raises without resting at all between exercises. Another strategy is that you may be able to perform a one lifted day routine if you're really strapped for time. And this can be taken literally, only performing one lift each day. Or you may perform only one compound lift each day and then quickly perform accessory work. For example, the press is the compound movement and then a quick tricep accessory work. One method that doesn't require a change in programming but does require you to have adequate equipment is beginning to warm up your next lift between the work sets of your current lift. So after performing, say, your first bench press work set, you would perform your first press warm up set and then rest, but this would require two barbells. AMRAPs, or as many reps as possible sets, provide challenging sets at a certain load or percentage of your one rep max. And if you're short on time, you can reduce the rest periods, which means your subsequent AMRAPs will involve fewer reps, but that's okay. We typically recommend to stop when you can do one or maybe two more reps, unless it's a smaller accessory exercise like a barbell curl. Dynamic training, or sometimes called speed training, is where you perform lighter weight and lower rep sets done as quickly as possible with short rest periods, such as every minute on the minute and can provide a lot of volume in a short amount of time with lots of work sets as opposed to higher rep sets. Myo reps involve an initial set followed by back off sets with minimal rests. So those sets may only have 30 seconds rest. The coach prescribes a rep number where the back off sets end. So for example, the lifter stops when she can no longer hit three reps. Similarly, you could aim for a target number of reps either with an initial set or not. This is great for something like chin-ups where the goal is to hit 30 total reps as fast as you can. For barbell lifts, it might look like working up to a set of five at RPE seven for pause bench press, and then hit 15 reps in as little time and as few sets as possible. Or simply have a target number of reps at a prescribed weight. Take it a step back, think about how much time you have in the gym and if you genuinely can make more time. If workouts are lasting longer than you'd like, then how can you shorten them? Some people might truly need to only perform one lift a day, which is better than not lifting at all. And others may temporarily need to focus on shorter workouts, but may be able to dedicate more time to training in the future. Others may simply want to ensure that their workouts don't swell to 90 minutes or more. These methods can help shorten workouts, while still effectively training. I hope this helps you shorten your time in the gym. Nice.